Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana and in today's video I am going to be doing my David Yurman jewelry collection. I have collected these pieces over the past like year, year and a half I think, and mainly I'll get gifted them or buy them for myself for like major milestones, so like college graduation, stuff like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into today's video, so of course don't forget to subscribe and then also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I'm just gonna go ahead and I think I'll go in chronological order of like first piece to my most recent addition and everything is rings and bracelets so just an fyi if you want to see that here's the first one and i'm gonna show them in like the little container type things and then i'll also explain why i got them and how i like to wear them that kind of thing but here's the first piece this one was pretty expensive here is it focusing i think so but I got this ring for my college graduation and I got this instead of a class ring just because I knew like that wasn't really going to be practical for me and it didn't really fit my style. I think this piece was around $500. Don't quite remember because it was a gift but this is it. Don't mind like the self tan on my hands. I kind of messed up right there but it's just silver and then it has one gold band basically it kind of looks like a stacked ring and i got it to wear on my left um, middle finger so this is it and usually i'll wear it with like a watch or something like that i wear this one a lot when i am working just because it looks good with like my watch right there and then the ring but there's the first one i love her and it was so nice getting to open this and i wore it for the first time to like my graduation ceremony when i walked the stage so um yeah that's my very first piece and i think my next one i think i got this for my like one year brain surgery i can, actually i don't remember when i got this maybe it was like for christmas a birthday I forget but my parents got me this one and this is what it looks like so it's just one of those like interlocking hook ones I don't know how much the bracelets are honestly like I forget but I love this one as well and usually since I am right-handed I do my watch on my left hand and then I do bracelets and stuff on my right hand so I wear this one pretty much every single day and I like to stack it with one other bracelet so it just looks like this and i like it i think i get the four millimeter um because i think that the five is like too thick i don't know i like my pieces to be kind of light and dainty so that i can stack them so that is my second one and then these other two pieces did i get them on the same day i think i got them for valentine's day for my parents but let me just like put it in here so you can see and the camera will focus but i have one of the blue little bracelets this is probably the most popular david yerman style but i got blue topaz and when i'm wearing a lighter colored outfit like blue jeans or blue any like shade of blue or white i'll like to wear this one stacked with the interlocking looking one so it looks like this i think i'm gonna wear these two today and i just feel like two is a good amount on any given day i don't like to stack all three of them because i feel like it's kind of just like excessive but i also got a red garnet i think so this is it i got them on the same day and can you like tell it looks really dark in some lighting and then sometimes it looks a lot lighter but i'll wear this with black outfits anything darker colored i think this one is perfect for the fall time and i'll switch out either the blue or the red and i always keep on this one just because it goes with everything so i would never do the three of them together i just don't like the way that that looks but I'll always do just one or the other depending on my outfit of the day and whatnot. So this piece I actually got for myself 
looking back on it i wouldn't have bought this one because i feel like everyone has it and it's just the one with the little x crossover thing this one was cheaper than the other ones i think it was 295 possibly but this one i got to wear on my right ring finger and i got it in a size 7 so i can only wear it on this but I just feel that it looks too similar to this one. Like, I don't know. It's just too similar in my opinion. Because the way that the thing is designed, it's just basically the same as this one. Except instead of a band of gold, it's just an X. I honestly never really wear this one anymore. But I did buy it for myself. But that's what it looks like but my most favorite ring from them besides the graduation one i think i got this why did i get this i got it because i was having brain surgery again i'm pretty sure but it's just this one it kind of i don't even know what you would call this but there's a tiny gold band right there and then these two twisted ropes so that is my all-time favorite one i have been wearing this one every single day since i got it and it just looks like this by far my favorite i never wear the x one anymore but yeah that's what it looks like and let me just take off the red one you could do um now that i'm looking at it you could definitely do the interlocking one in the middle and then the two ones that are open it could go like that but to me that's just kind of like that's just too much in my opinion yeah that's everything i have from david yearman so these one two three six pieces i don't really think i need anything else maybe i'll get one of the pearl ones or something like that maybe if they release more stuff but it seems to me like their collection is pretty consistent so that's it i don't know this is honestly way too much money that is everything from david yearman that i have i will link all of the items in the description box and yeah that is all so i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below but that is it so i will see y'all next time